Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm vlogging. Yeah, okay, nice. How are you doing? Good. Well, it's very different from home. <laughs> so Uganda is a very different country from Finland. So I would say it's been very like a big learning experience. True, true. But really what I like people here. Uh, like people are super nice. The people are so nice. They are really friendly. They are hospitable. Wow. So that's been really the best part. <laughs> you love it? Yes. Wow. Those we call it <laughs> we call it akala. We call it akala in in our language. Yeah. Akala shoes. So if maybe I've never seen this before. Yeah, you have never seen this before. No. <laughs> this is the first time. Not from made from like car tires. Oh, like oh wow wow. So. Hello beautiful people. It's your boy Rashid Islando. Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. So guys today I'm in a place called Itebe. Itebe is located uh, in uh, Uganda. So today guys we are going to meet my good friend uh, from Finland. She has been my friend for a very long time on Instagram. So I reached out to her so that we can meet and also I bought her a gift straight out from Kenya guys. So I'm going to meet her for the first time. So let's go and check out what she does here in Kampala, my friends. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm vlogging. Yeah, okay, nice. How are you doing? Good. You're good? How are you? Hey guys, I just met my friend. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Tuli. Tuli. For the first time I'm meeting Tuli. <laughs> you came, you were walking all the way from there. Yes, I was walking, you know, I don't know how this place runs, so yeah. I decided to walk. Okay. So I was thinking, where's the beach? The beach is, is it far from here? Uh, not so far, but we can take a boat and go. Okay. So, my friends, we just found ourselves in the beach. I want to have a dip in the Lake Victoria. And uh, we know what we will do next, but this place is a bit restrict. There's a lot of restriction here, man. When making video, it's quite weird. So I want to have a dip in this lake. Look how the lake looks. Very beautiful. I want to have a dip in this Lake Victoria, the biggest freshwater lake we have in East Africa. See how the water is so clean. Wow. So guys, let's have a dip in this lake. Wow. Look at the, the water so clean. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, wow, well, this is beautiful. Man. We are in the Lake Victoria, guys. Oh, it's quite dirty, man. Look. Look at this. Are, oh. And we just paid money to enter in this lake, and yet it's very dirty. Look how it looks, man. It's very dirty. Meanwhile, I'm here with my friend Tuli. She's chilling there. Uh, she's not comfortable swimming in this water because uh, this water affects his body, and I will not. Uh, Force him, force her to swim. So right now, I just want to enjoy myself a little bit. Uh, then later, we'll just go and have a conversation with her, ask her how is life living in Uganda, and uh, if you have already get, got a husband here, you never know, man, because he's been staying in Uganda for almost uh, three months. Guys, look how the, these lakes look so dirty, and you you must pay to enter in this lake. I feel the government of Uganda should improve about that, man. Oh, because this, uh, this is not good, man. And we have some people who are swimming other side, you know. So let us enjoy. Let's enjoy our money that we have paid. Look. 
All of these are that. Man, some, there are some waste here. Look at this. What is this? And you need to pay to enter. Even. No? There's no value of money here, man. You pay. Look, look how it looks. But people are enjoying, you know. So, guys, let's have a tip for the first time in the Lake Victoria, my people. <laughs> wow. The water is so fresh, man, you know. This is the fresh water. You can in um, in uh, Muru Bay if people drink this water see? you can see how this lake is so big it's so very big you know in Uganda uh, Uganda have the biggest lake you know have the biggest uh, they, they, they are the one who are big part of Lake Victoria that's where you see a lot of people have come to enjoy themselves and we have some jet ski here. Hello, bro. Hi. How are you? How much for a ride? 40,000. Start from that. Wow. Hey, it looks nice. Can I just, uh, you know, I, don't, I have no money enough to ride it, but I want to be on it. Oh, taking a photo. Okay. okay then. <laughs> oh, everything here in Uganda is money, 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 money. Guys, see? So when you come to Uganda, be ready to be to spend your money. Because everyone wants to get money from you. That's how it is. Now that's how it works here, man. Even taking a photo with the JSC. It's 5,000 Ugandan shillings. Entering the, the, the lake, we paid 14,000 just to enter the lake. And we are, we are given two beers. <laughs> Uganda government should do something about that. Why do they charge everything, man? And I think the, the, the reason why they pay everything here is because uh, Right now, Uganda are facing uh, the economic problem as we, Kenyans, we are also facing the same thing. Meanwhile, I stop, I stop complaining and I enjoy myself and I enjoy my money. Oh. So guys, let me have a swim a little bit. I'll get back to you as we go back to Tuli and ask him how how is life here? See you when we are there, my friends. Yo, guys, I'm here with Tuli. We are chilling. I'm having some cold beer here, cold light. I've never tried beer before. Ah, my previous video, I did a video in Katanga, which I was drinking beer, but it was not like this one. But is this for from Uganda? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I don't think it's not from Uganda. <laughs> and uh, Tuli is having some coke. She don't drink. Introduce herself again. Let me sit beside you. So that... Okay. Hi, my name is Tuli. I'm from Finland. I'm staying here in Uganda for volunteering. Wow, wow, wow. Tuli, I've been my friend for a very long time. Can you come sit this other side so that... Uh, okay. oh, let me remove this shot of mine. You know, we are arranging ourselves. <laughs> we are just having some conversation, but we just wanted to finish this vlog because guys have told you that uh, Tuli have been my friend for a very long time on Instagram. So I reached out to her on Instagram where, while I was planning to come to Uganda so that we can meet, have a conversation and ask her how his life in Uganda. Let her introduce herself again. Hi, my name is Tuli. So yeah, I came to Uganda some three months ago. Wow. Uh, I came to volunteer and um, volunteering here in Entebbe <laughs> in the Uganda Wildlife Education Center. Wow, wow. So it's a conservation education center for animals. Wow. So yeah, I work with the animals there. And how long have you been working, like you've been living here in Uganda? 
Uh, now almost three months. Wow. I can see you're even blending in Uganda. <laughs> <too. laughs> wow. So, uh, so far, how do you see life in Uganda? Well, it's very different from home. <laughs> so, Uganda is a very different country from Finland. So, I would say it's been very like a big learning experience. True, true. But really, what I like people here. Uh, like people are super nice. The people are so nice. They are really friendly. They are hospitable. Wow. So that's been really the best part true, for me. True. And uh, what about the food? What about the food? Because me, since I came to Uganda, I've been eating a lot of Ugandan food. You guys know how I love Ugandan food. No? You love it? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. What about you? It's good. Uh -huh. There are some really good foods. Uh -huh. Though it took me a while to get used to it oh, true, because true. the Ugandans eat very different food from yeah. we eat in true, Finland. True, but true. I really like it. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. They know how to cook, they make effort. You know, people can cook like starting from the morning until the <laughs> evening. So yeah, and have you have, have you tried to cook uh, uh, Ugandan food? I have not yet tried to. Cook uh, you it need myself. to try. <laughs> <laughs> she she need to try to cook uh, Ugandan food. If you, if if you think she she need to start to cook Ugandan food. Drop your comments there. <laughs> so, uh, even matoke, have you tried to eat matoke? Of course. Oh, how is it? How it's is good. It? It's good. It's good. It's good. I like it. Yeah, I like wow, matoke. Wow. <laughs> and uh, the I was telling people that uh, you no, know, most of the people will ask me, you you go, you went swimming, but you don't go with Tulu. Can you tell them why the reason why you are, you cannot swim in the lake? I can swim there, but uh -huh. I have not actually swum uh -huh. since I came here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but I've swim in the River Nile. Oh wow! <laughs> but oh. not here. Yet. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but here it seems the water they are not maintained. You guys, we have seen the how they, the we have some still there. Like there's a lot of things. If someone who is who is not uh, used to it enter the water can be affected. You guys have seen yourself. It's not the most cleanest lake, but yeah. yeah. And uh, I've realized everything here in Uganda you need to pay just to get mm. access to it. Like we had to pay to just to come and chill in the beach, you know. But something like this is not in Kenya. In Kenya, you, you are allowed to do your thing. Even making this video here, we had to acquire for permission to make this video. Imagine, and we are not feeling film anyone. We're just feeling filming ourselves. And let us go come back to the topic again you know you know i really get off offended with the moment uh, i was entering the this beach because they want money everything is money here you know and i think sometimes if you, you use your money to do something you need to have the value of your money mm. like that yeah you're right yeah so have you find an husband here in uganda <laughs> I have not yet found. <laughs> But people keep asking me. Oh. It's funny, like the locals kind of want, if you come here and you stay a bit, the locals, they will want you to stay. So oh. people will keep asking like, are you going to actually go back or you want to stay here? Because you can stay. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you are beautiful, of course, you know. And, uh, you know, if, uh, you know, you know, African men are the most uh, coolest men in, uh, in the world, you know. If they see something that they love, they, they usually express themselves, you know? Mm, yeah, for sure. So, uh, no one have called his shot. Eh? What? No, no one have called his shot, like, no one have approached you to maybe... Not really. Uh, oh. <laughs> People are just, like, generally friendly, but not like this. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. So, guys, what do you think uh, about Tuli? Tuli is a very nice lady, you know? She's very humble and uh, as you can see she have already blend with the Ugandan vibe. <laughs> the only thing she's remaining to do is to ta to start cooking the Ugandan food. <laughs> yeah. That I need to try. I, I think really you like need it. to go to the villages. Do, do they have villages around here? Around here well you have to travel a bit but oh. yeah, maybe not like so close now. So have you traveled in the villages before? I've been to some parts in the like western Uganda. Oh, which part exactly? But I didn't. Uh, I traveled to Hoima and then I went around 
the Lake Albert, mm -hmm. you know, like that's at the yeah, border. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was there. We visited some like. There is a place where they make, uh, there are hot springs, mm -hmm. I think it's called Kibiro hot springs oh. And then they make salt Wow, wow There is this like local village mm -hmm. You need to <laughs> hike down oh, oh. a mountain oh. Or a hill, here it's a hill But yeah wow. And they have this local community where they make salt True, true So I visited that place, yeah It and was extremely hot oh. <laughs> <and> extremely <laughs> interesting Did you enjoy it? Yeah Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was I, a short visit, though. Oh. I didn't stay there. Oh, oh. And uh, how do you see life between uh, the village and here in the city? Like yeah, while you are in in the villages and yeah. here you are in the city, how did yeah. you see the different uh, of those people and the people who are in the city? People, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't see big difference in people, but of course the life there is very different oh. from the life here. True, true. Because, for example, if you are in Kampala, it's really nice. People are living very nicely true, there. True, yeah. true, true. That's very true. Mm. But uh, the only pr problem with the Kampala, is the Kampala Ugandan people, especially the uh, the the border borders riders, especially if you come to Kenya and you are a, uh, 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 sorry, sorry, if you come to Uganda and you are a foreigner or you are a tourist. Uh, you need to be careful because they usually hike the price most of the time. Yeah, that's normal. Because yeah. I've been a lot, I've been through a lot. You know, the moment they 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 realize that you are not from Uganda, mm. you're done. So if you come to Uganda, one, be ready to to bargain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, of course. And I would say I don't know. A Finnish, for a Finnish person that can be difficult yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we are not used to it you don't, there's no place in Finland where you can really bargain at True. anything so here you kind of have to learn to bargain. a new skill yeah. yeah. but I would say with all that like it's really useful to have uh, local fr friends here. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. Like as long as you know someone, they can always advise you. This way, also for me, I I have learned. Yeah. I know how much things should cost, and like if I go somewhere, I will ask my friend how much should the taxi actually cost, so true, that I know true, how true. to bargain when I wow, go there. Wow. So right yeah. now you know how to bargain. Yeah, yeah, so, I know now. So if you if if. If anyone from Finland is planning to travel to Uganda, I'll leave. Uh, reach out to me. I don't want to leave his number here because I know you. There are some <laughs> people here will just disturb you. Yeah. So uh, you'll send me a message. I connect you with Tuli so that you can hang around. How may, how long have you will you be here in uh, Uganda? At least until the end of the year. But I think I should stay maybe until February. Or February. So. Oh. So maybe if you're planning to come to Uganda in December, reach out to me, I connect you with you truly, you, you hang out with her, she's a very very nice lady and very humble, you know, with it truly, before I forget guys, I told you starting from this video, I bought truly some gift here and I want her to open to see for herself, just open the gift to see. Wow, <laughs> thank you, let's see. Oh. Have someone bought you a gift since you come to Uganda? I I think no. This Sound is the first one. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, okay. <laughs> you bought this from Kenya? Yes, yes. I bought it in uh, in the second, uh, hey. third largest uh, city in Kenya. Which so, is? Uh, Kisumu. Ah, okay, right. <laughs> so oh, this, nice. this is called Akala. We call it Akala. It hey. was home it's homemade it uh, was made from scratch from the from west tire car tires so, right? yeah car tires yeah. these shoes can last more than five years yeah i can imagine <laughs> oh thank you so even if you travel to finland you'll remember with me with yeah, this <laughs> yeah for sure wow thanks yeah is the guys see this is the akala shoes which i bought it in kisumu in my in my other video which i made in uh, Kisumu, this shoes was made from scratch. You guys saw it, and I decided to surface <laughs> how with this. Can you wear it? Yeah, thanks. It's true. <laughs> yeah. That's good because we are at the beach. So. Yeah. Wow, wow. It's a bit bigger. Yeah, yeah oh. we have small feet. Yeah. Oh. Now, 
Hey, 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 you look nice. <laughs> try to try to walk 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 a bit from there. I will I will uh, adjust there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> you love it? Yeah. Wow. Those we call it <laughs> we call it akala. We call it akala in in our language. Yeah. Akala shoes. So if maybe I've never seen this before. Yeah, you have never seen this before. No. <laughs> this is the first time. Not from made from like car tires. Oh, like oh wow, wow. So you remember me with this? <laughs> Even if you travel to Finland, maybe if uh, you're not comfortable with it, you can uh, give maybe your brother, your sibling, your cousin, anyone, and you will not, you will not, yeah, you will not buy shoes for the next maybe ten years. You know, even if you wear these shoes, you cannot be. It can, nothing can go through it. You yeah, see? you're right. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, so I, I just. I thought maybe if I bring you something you need. Thank you. <laughs> oh. You have never seen something like this before? Like shoes that have been made with the tires? No, I think no. Wow. I have not seen those here. I don't think they exist here yeah. in Uganda. Wow. <laughs> so guys, you know, as I told you before, African men are the coolest men in gift also. <laughs> Uh, don't think it over, don't overthink about that <laughs> some people will overthink about that uh, so when you travel to Finland we'll, you'll go with them of course uh, uh, so guys um, if you like this video I think this will be the end of this video if you like this video make sure you like like it subscribe and see you next time Bye-bye.